Yeah, this is Robin with uh, Horror Pop After Midnight. I'm over here at Whorehound, and I'm here with Clownvis. How's it going? Uh, hey, good to be here. How are you guys doing? Pretty good. Um, it was my first time seeing your show last night. You're pretty rocking it. Thank you, man. It's a perfect crowd for what I do. Uh, I'm not a scary clown, but I am a, a clown that likes to party, and this is a party crowd, so it just worked. It was real fun last night. So, um, how long have you been doing this, and how did you become clown this? Man, I've been doing it for longer than I can count now. I mean, it's been well over more than almost two decades, probably. Uh, but you could somebody could Google that and figure it out if they needed to. Uh, but uh, and how it started, I don't know, man. It's such a big long trip. All I can say is that uh, it's a the old clown as well runs deep. So do some Google and do some search, and uh, and you'll find the. The anals of clown because you're very uh, echoing and deep. Hey, let me check out that belt buckle, man. Oh, thank you. I had that made. That is pretty wild. Thank you. And last night you were playing some Glenn Campbell. I thought that was kind of oh, cool. Oh, yeah, you got to respect old Glenn, man. Do a little rhinestone cowboy. Like I said, next time I'll pull out Wichita linemen. And, uh, you know, I don't think there's enough Glenn Campbell at these horror conventions. <laughs> now, let's talk about the Clown Hotel. You got your own uh, room. Yeah, I do. Room 222. Suite 222. The Clown Vis Suite they dedicated. And it's um, it's all Clown Vis artwork made by fans. Fans send it there and they hang it up on the walls. And um, they got me on the front door there. And uh, they sell my merchandise in their gift shop. I'm, I'm happy to be involved with them at all. That's a cool place. So, of, you, of your career so far, what was one of your uh, most memorable moments or one of those, like, what the fuck did I just get into? <laughs> oh, man, that's, that's every time I leave the house. But, uh, <laughs> you know, recently I've been, the last four years, five years, I guess, I've been doing the Gathering of the Juggalos. That's something that I um, never really anticipated or saw coming. But that's become a huge, uh, wonderful world for me to uh, mill around in. Um, and then everything, you know, being at a horror convention... I'll be in Nashville next week hosting a country music award, so it's like they can, I can kind of find myself in ridiculous situations everywhere I go. So. Yeah, and also last night at your concert, uh, you were talking about uh, a foundation where clowns get like medical insurance and all that yeah, great stuff. Yeah, Clowns of America International, yeah. Uh, where can everybody find you on social media? Uh, at Clownbus on Instagram and TikTok, Clownbus Presley on Facebook and YouTube. And uh, just, just put in Clownbus in your search engine. You'll, you'll find me all over the place. All right. Thank you so much. Thank you. Tragic. Horrifying. Could be classified as terrorism. It, it's a sad song, but I wrote it in Chicago just a couple months ago. I was on, were you there? I was on tour. I was playing in Chicago. The House of Blues, staying in a beautiful hotel, and uh, I'll show them this happened. I'm looking out my window from the Hotel Chicago, staring at a bridge over water on Kenzie Street. That's when I realized from the Hotel Chicago. I was looking at the bridge where Dave Matthews dumped 800 pounds of shit on people. Oh, the Dave Matthews poop bridge was in my sight. It's the Dave Matthews poop bridge, and I'm sleeping alright tonight. Because I'm 10 stories high, nobody's dumping poop on me. I'm not going under that bridge, the Dave Matthews Blue Bridge. 